That might be two cars. I think that's a car. Oh, that's. Oh yeah, you can almost see. That one looks like something small. She's either in the woods or she's in this river. I just gotta find her. She placed her last bet and walked out of the casino 15 years ago and has not been seen or heard from since. Alright, so the car is right there. It is really clear. I don't think this is our vehicle, but you never know if it's someone else's, so we're gonna check it. Red Toyota Corolla. Right at the boat ramp, we found a, another car. It's a case that has baffled investigators for years and left her family with more questions than answers. Her car has not been found yet, so we're trying to cover everything, because you just never know. Yeah, it's pretty clear. So we're starting our search today for Karen Sue Adams in Chester, West Virginia is where she went missing. And we just put in at the boat ramp. There's actually a casino she was last seen at leaving at like 4 a.m. really late, really early in the morning, I guess you could say, like down this road. This road's kind of on the right and left side, but she's vanished since 2017. And she was last seen driving a red and maroon two-door 2005 Suzuki Forenza, license plate EDT5587. So we're out here searching to see if we can find Karen today. A lot of the woods have been searched already. I don't know to the extent if the water has been searched, but we're out here just doing our part, seeing if we can find any vehicles. Hopefully we can find something. Pat car, four-door. It's your, I mean, I thought it was something weird looking, but it's just, I mean, it's just your average car. It's so like, generic car. Yeah. yeah. It's a generic so something car. smaller, a little smaller, maybe like 10 feet. Yeah, well, about 10, but maybe not not 20. Yeah, not a, not a maybe long. Like, maybe like 15, if that. So like 10, it'll be small 10, on the radar. No more than 15, I would say. Uh, let's get this boat ramp real quick. Make sure I'm not missing anything right off the bat. So we're starting off with this boat ramp. I thought I saw. We haven't like really started moving yet, but I thought I saw something big below us. So let's see if there's anything right here. Very often vehicles are right at the boat ramp. So I don't know why hers would be. But yeah, that would be pretty wild. It's right 21 here. feet, 28, 30 feet already, so it's kind of a deeper river out here. So we're right near the casino. We've been going down the river for a while now. I haven't seen too much pop off, but I did look over and notice a front fender to a, a car. Bumper. That's a bumper? Yeah, bumper cover on the front. Doesn't look like the right color we're looking for. Uh, I don't, but I'm still curious to see what kind. Oh, we're going to hit the bottom. Still curious to see what kind it is. So I don't think it would have floated. It had to have come down. That is just a little bit weird in this location, I would say. That was pretty wild. Like, wow, there's a front bumper sitting right there. I mean, let's see here. What year was the Suzuki? 2005? No, it's not our car. I wouldn't even go out and look. I think it's a Chrysler of some sort. I just don't know what kind. So after doing some more research while we're out here on the water, we did find out some other search teams have searched this area. We weren't aware of that. Um, but we're we're searching from the casino where she was last seen, I guess, down the routes she would have taken. I, I know there may have been a cell phone ping farther down. Her car has not been found yet, so we're trying to cover everything because you just never know. We know she was in the parking lot here, and we know where she lived in the Aliquippa area. We're just covering other routes that we know haven't probably been searched because you can never search enough. And it's easy to miss things, so hopefully we can find her car or another vehicle today. So we're gonna keep looking. That was just a weird thing to see in the bank right here. Yeah, there's some huge rocks over here. We're heading up river now. This is the Newell Bridge, and this is Newell on the right side, and I guess East Liverpool over on the left side. And this is a really narrow bridge. I don't think any car could make it off the bridge, but the road, you know, the road does go close to the water. I don't know, it's very thick vegetation right here. So it kind of looks like there's no way it could be possible, but I mean, there's a lot of stuff in the water, a lot of rocks. One of the routes she could have taken home was going over this bridge. I think you could also stay on this side of the water though and get home, potentially. Yeah, the road again, we're right, we're right 
that the where the curves. Yeah, I mean you can yeah, so the, I can see cars going by up there. It'd have to be like a one in a million shot for a car to make it down. Maybe like she's coming this way. She's hammered through the straight. I mean I still think, like you were saying, she might be in the woods somewhere. There's a lot of There's woods. There's a, a lot of woods. It gets I mean I don't know how barren and see through it gets in the fall or whatever. It's darn thick for sure. But it's thick, yeah. Nothing found yet. And it's supposed to start raining too. Pretty bad here, so we only have like maybe an hour more searching today. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully find some. I really hope we find some because I want to dive in this water. Yeah, the water looks really clear. So we're right by this uh, public boat ramp over here. We think we may have seen a vehicle. Oh, was that it? Might have been. I was turning though, so I stretched it out. If it is, it looks like tire shadows. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's what we looked at. So it's cool. Man, look at this tugboat. We may see. Yeah, there's some big old tugboats and barges going by. It seems like most of the boats on this river are these big barges and boats. Dude, 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 dude. Two? That's the second one? Because that was way out here. Was it? That's when, right when I was turning, I just clipped it. Wait, that? Oh, dude! That is a thousand per Wait, get closer. How many cars are here? I, I don't know, I turned. I don't know what I'm looking at. But that go down and go straight up again. Let's, let's get a one solid line. Oh my gosh, dude. That's, that's way out there, too. It's 32 feet, man. But it's clear water. It's always at the public boat ramps, though. Which kind of is never really necessarily a good sign. Oh, man. I think it's a car. But with the wakes moving, it like that just jumbled the picture. It's on the left. Yeah, I think that was one. Well, that's that's an upside down car, right? Or is it that smaller one? Are you talking about 20? I mean, eight feet right here. I could have swore I saw another one. I don't know if I just kept turning and seeing the same one over and over. I think you turned and saw the same one. Yeah. Right on top of it. Looks like windows. Weird, very skewed windows, right? Well, it's not the best down imaging, but definitely, like, look at your side, look at this one. It kind of looks like a roof. Kind of. It's like a hatchback. I think it is a car. I don't like know a car. It's I don't, a car. This big, big rock right there. I do think this is a car. We'll, we'll drop a magnet. If it sticks, we'll dive in. So we're trying to get a good picture. You can see. Oh, I think it's right there. Kind of what it looks like. There's the two windows, those dark triangles. It's on its wheels. Is it on its wheels? This picture looks like it's on its wheels. Initially, I thought yours was upside down. I'm not seeing it on the this. But, you can use down imaging. I think that's it right below us. Got my Centurion Magnetics 360 magnet. This thing's pretty strong. Pretty good magnet, so I might have to hook on it. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be too difficult. Sure. The rope's not long enough. Be on it right there. Oh, actually, I am on it. Yeah, I'm on it. Got it. Yeah, the rope was like the exact length I needed. All right, so the car's right there. It's really clear. You're gonna get a good, uh, good picture of this thing. Hopefully. All right, so Jeremy's getting all geared up. He's gonna dive this one. You're hiding my fence, bro. They're right behind you, behind the Damn. BC. Okay. So the water looks pretty clear out here. I don't think this is our vehicle, but you never know if it's someone else's, so we're gonna check it. And yeah, this would be a good one to pull out if we, you know, don't find anything else. Yeah, it'd be easy to get out. It shouldn't be too bad unless it's really old. All right, 
right, so he is down there right there where the bubbles are coming up, you can see. Right on the other side of that buoy. It is currently, it just started raining. And the rain's only going to get worse, so this may be our last car we dive today. If it stays like this, we might be able to keep searching. It's not too bad, but it looked like a pretty gnarly storm kind of coming through. But I'm guessing the visibility is amazing. I, mean, I can see like five feet down. So he should be getting a very good picture, very good look at this car. Out the car. Surprise, surprise. It's a red Toyota Corolla. It is red though? Yeah. Wow. Dropped right down on the uh, spoiler. <laughs> and I was just like, uh oh. Because I didn't. A little tiny little sports car. No tag. And then I think could wipe away the, the clams on it for muscles. <laughs> Toyota Corolla. All the windows are down. Seat belts aren't done up. I dug in the mud a little bit. You can feel anything. Good Tried visibility. To, Visi huh? Good viz. Good enough. There's no current. Kind of surprised me. Well, it's kind of what we figured, but it's the right color at least. <laughs> I mean. I know. Hey, you know what, you know what it did look like though underwater? What? Pink. Huh? Pink. Did it? Yeah. First thing I thought about, I got done and I was like, oh, it's a pink car. And I was like, that means it's red. It yeah. has to be red. Yeah. <laughs> Could be. Could be pink. No. Nah. Probably not. That's a red. Nice red metallic color. Yeah, so we just scanned all the way up there. It is raining. But we're pretty protected here with this bimini, which is nice. And we're going under this bridge. Now we're making it worry down the right side. There is like a boat ramp somewhere, somewhere down here. There's a lot of tires as usual, big logs. I mean, they've been I don't know how long they've been doing construction on this bridge, but it was, Kind of a mess driving over. It's very important to pay attention to the, that number and the down imaging is more accurate on mine. That's like grass and logs and sticks probably. Yeah, we just gotta make our way around and like right in the center of this is the deepest part, I guess. And then it seems pretty, pretty deep. We can scan it. I mean, I'm not scared. You scared? You look scared. A little scared. Still raining. We made it down to the Broadway Wharf, and right at the boat ramp, we found a another car. It's really round. Maybe I don't. I don't know. That's a really round top to me. Kind of looks like a van, or could be a car. Maybe maybe SUV. You, you're thinking? Oh no! I mean, you're, here it comes again. Yeah, man, that's, that's a tall shadow. Yeah, that looks like a. Could be a van. See, I think the front is to the left. Point you can see the window. It looks like a van to me. Might be a van. Definitely a big. I don't one. think it's a car. 
It almost looks like the roof rack on top. It does. Either that or the roof's missing. Yeah, it might be caved in. But you know, that, that little one you just dove on kind of looked like an SUV, but is this the right length? What's the length of this? That's a big one. This one looks, this is bigger. In terms of down imaging of it. It's always tricky getting a good shot of these things. That's a van van, I bet. Town, but, town and country? No, it's got like doors you can open, like double doors, like a utility oh, van. Oh really? That's what it looks like to me. Was there another one up here? There's this. That looks like an upside down car. That does look like an upside down car. I can't really see it on mine. That might be something else too. That definitely looks like something's upside down. Let's go over that a few times. Yeah, that's an upside down car. But we can come back here tomorrow. It's supposed to rain. It's supposed to maybe rain tomorrow too. It looks like. Luckily, we can drive to this boat right Yeah, we can come right here. We ain't got to worry about this flying around. That's true. I don't know. I think it's a public, public ramp. Maybe the dive tomorrow. You excited? Maybe. My turn. Yeah. If it's clear, I mean, it's 12 feet here. If it's clear, pretty deep, so it should be really enough. clear. That, that might be two cars. I think that's a car. Oh, that's. Oh, yeah, you can almost see. That one looks like something small. I'm like way out to the left. And that, right there. That, that looks like someone's upside down. My screen's a little blurry. This is small. They, those two might, might be, be cars. Three vehicles. That one might be on its side. That looks like a wheel. Might be a small car. There's our van again. Man, it's exciting. Finding all these vehicles. What's really cool about it being this clear is like. We can we can like like yeah there's something laying next to this car so yeah. we can kind of swim out and just look around. I'll, in this case, if it is clear, that that clear. Yeah, it's clear but enough to swim. You were deeper on that other one, so this one's a little shallower, I think. It'll probably be a little better. Let's head back down and get back to the ramp. This is getting worse. Yeah, we're about to get mutilated. But right, it's day two. We are back out here on the Ohio River searching for Karen. We we're past the dam though. I don't know if you can kind of see it. The dam's right up there. It's a big. In fact, uh, some big plant right there next to the dam. We are uh, continuing our search downriver. And we did, at the end of yesterday, I guess you guys just saw, we found, what, three, uh, we think two or three cars? Yeah, definitely. And we, we, I do want to dive those if we have time, but I just don't think that they're anything but stolen cars. If we don't find anything else, we're going to come back to those. It's our plan right now, because I do want to dive on them. Some of them look interesting, and you never know if they're connected to something else. But we're trying to find Karen today, so we're starting to hit the hot spots farther down the path that she could have taken to go home. She's either in the woods, or she's in this river. And I just gotta find her. That's the problem, I was like, no one knows which way she went. We checked everywhere that way for a ways. I think we covered it a lot. Didn't find, we found cars, didn't find her. Uh, I dove that one car, one her, so. I think we start checking the way towards where other search and recovery teams looked. Yeah. And then we'll kind of cover the areas they didn't, maybe, see what we can find. So we're going down the other side, past the dam. Not expecting to really find anything, but we are scanning everything just for peace of mind. And we, it looks like we found a vehicle. And it goes to show you. Now you think about it. Like we were sitting here literally just saying like, there's no way there's a car here. Yeah. And then we're like, You can Ooh. never not be sure yeah. because look, I mean, this used, I mean, there's like a rope swing and stuff. I don't know how long ago, but I guess it was a hangout spot. It's all, there's like one spot where you could, it had to have gone in, it's fenced off but it's all guard railed now. But if you look on Jeremy's sonar, right there, that is a vehicle upside down. I don't know what type. I don't know if it's ours. It doesn't scream ours. It looks more like maybe a Jeep. But there are the tires on top. It's pretty fat. I mean, it could be a car. But if I had to guess, that's... Could be a car. I will guess it's, it's, it's a Jeep. 
Could be a pickup truck, who knows, but it's definitely tiny, it's small. Well, this means that we have to dive it. It's kind of deep though, right? 25, 30 feet. Yeah, but it's clear. It's, it's not It's not as scary as diving in the blackness, in the abyss. Uh, you wanna mark it? Am yeah. I diving it? You get yeah, I mean, it, dive right, day. It's right. dive day for you. <laughs> All right, just got out of the water. Not our vehicle, it's a Chevy. Surprising. Still, uh, you know, a fun dive, kind of. Kind of seems... I mean, kind of, man, you got to actually see the vehicle this time. Yeah, the, vi the visibility was really good, so that's always a plus. But we're not used to that most of the time, but we're gonna keep on going down. I'm sure we'll find more vehicles. We already found like, you know, five total or so. Wouldn't be surprised if we found a bunch more, but it's still kind of a weird spot. Yeah, that would have me wondering. I'm like, man, why is there a car right here? I mean, people come here to hang out, I guess, but it's not easily accessible by a vehicle. Nah, a little party spot, I guess. I didn't know there was a trail to bring a car down here. It's like so, some place you park. There was no like, plate, just uh, the plate cover thing that goes around it. It said Steubenville, which is way farther down this way. That's the direction we're heading, so who knows? Who knows? We may find more. All right guys, unfortunately this video got cut a little bit short because we had some engine trouble with our boat motor and that kind of wrapped up the day for us. I think I stopped recording or I lost the footage. I'm not exactly sure, so I apologize for that. We have since gotten a new motor for the boat, so we are rocking and rolling. Uh, unfortunately, we were not able to find Karen today, but man, we did a lot of searching. I know other search teams have as well and will continue in the future. I'm pretty confident Karen will eventually be found and I'm praying that you know she is found safely and not in the water but I do have hope that she will be found so I appreciate you guys watching all the love and support we could not do these search videos without y'all's help the best way to help us is just to leave a like on this video leave a comment be subscribed to the channel if you want to help further there's some ways in the description to do that also check out exploring with Nug's channel to see his side of this search thank you so much for watching I will see you on the next one <music>